first off, I just needed a desk. Uh, I used to have a really basic desk that I had that I got from Target, and funny story about that is that it almost caught fire. Um, so once I found that out, immediately got rid of it, and since then I was working at the dinner table. So uh, I needed to find some sort of solution that would let me have my own dedicated workspace at home. And since I was already in the market for a desk, I just went ahead and went for a, a standing desk. Whenever I'm not traveling for work, I'm usually working from home. Uh, and I really just got tired of sitting down. Um, I was starting to get some back pain, uh, more like discomfort, and uh, I've used standing desks at other places and other offices whenever I travel. And I just liked the feeling of being able to, to stand and, and just move around freely instead of having to uh, sit and then get up and things like that. So that's really what, uh, what gave me this idea. Uh, as for the desk itself, why did I go and choose the desk and the top separately? Uh, and that was really just based on, on the space that we're at right now. Uh, so right now we're in a really small apartment and uh, I wasn't ready to commit to something that was uh, a fixed desk setup. One of the first ones I saw whenever I did my research was from a Danny Wingate YouTube video and this was for the BDI SQL standing desk. And the desk itself is like really clean, really cool looking, but whenever I went to go look at it, it was $1,500 and uh, not something that was uh, close for me or within my budget to purchase. The second desk that I've seen a lot is the Foley Jarvis desk and uh, this is another really good option, Some, something that a lot of YouTubers have covered and the price range here is around $4.99 which isn't as expensive as the first option uh, but uh, it's still relatively pricey if you're looking for a, for a standing desk. And then the one that I finally ended up going with was the FlexiSpot adjustable desk frame. And this is one that I found through Jeremy Sears. Uh, his review of this desk, uh, and what really caught my eye about it is that he just bought the frame and then he did a, a DIY tabletop, uh, which I'm not the type of person that would do a DIY tabletop. Uh, but the fact that he was able to just get any tabletop that he wanted uh, gave me some ideas as to what I could do to make my own budget standing desk setup. All right, so here is the desk. So we'll see, we have the standing legs right here. So this is what actually makes the desk a standing desk. Uh, it's the FlexiSpot motorized desk leg. So we have one leg here, one leg here, and then under the desk, oh, you'll see there's like this compartment this portion right here, that's what has the motor that lets this go up and go down. So on top of the desk, you'll see we just have a really basic top from Ikea. Uh, this was a really inexpensive, I think it was like 50, 60 bucks. Um, we plan on replacing it uh, whenever we get our own dedicated workspace, but uh, it does the job, it looks nice, and it doesn't make everything look out of place. So let's talk assembly. So whenever I got the desk itself, the frame, uh, it really just came in a really big box. Uh, it's a pretty heavy box. I live in an apartment, uh, so I had to carry the box from the office downstairs to the elevator and then to my actual apartment. Uh, and the tabletop itself, I got it from Ikea and really it just, it was the tabletop itself that was inside a, a car, cardboard box. Uh, so those are really the only two things. There weren't any separate boxes for different things. It was just the frame in one box and the tabletop in another box. Once I opened the box uh, that had the desk frame, it was pretty easy assembly. Uh, there weren't a lot of pieces that needed to be uh, assembled and the instructions were pretty straightforward. Uh, I didn't catch any videos of uh, me assembling the desk, but I just remember that I was building it right before I left to uh, on a trip to Mexico City and uh, it really didn't take that much. Uh, all of the tools that you needed were included. I think the only thing that you needed to provide was a uh, 
a screwdriver or what would make things easier whenever you're drilling the the, the frame into the tabletop uh, is a, a drill. So having those things might will definitely make the assembly a lot easier. So speaking of the tabletop, attaching the tabletop which isn't specifically designed for the desk frame was pretty straightforward too. Uh, inside the all of the materials that you needed for the frame, uh, it came included with some screws that were pretty straightforward to drill into the, uh, the tabletop. Now you do have to do some measuring just to make sure that things are even and that you, uh, your desk isn't misaligned. Uh, but other than that, uh, just drilling the, the screws into the table top was a, made it a pretty easy assembly. Talking about build quality now, uh, I was really surprised at how sturdy this tabletop and the desk is itself. Uh, I consider myself a really hard typer, uh, and I've noticed that on some of the other desks that I've had, especially the last uh, desk that I had, uh, whenever I would type, you would kind of hear the desk like move or shake, uh, just because it wasn't very, it wasn't a sturdy desk. Uh, but I haven't really noticed that with this desk. The frame itself is pretty heavy, so that keeps the desk from moving around. But even the tabletop itself. Um, even if you like knock on it, like it's a pretty sturdy desk and it won't wobble whenever you're typing on it or uh, whenever you're using your computer just casually. So this is a portion that lets you adjust the height. So you'll see right now, if I step back, have it adjust the regular desk uh, level settings. Pretty much how you would use it if you were just sitting on a normal chair. So what you're able to do is if you click up, then the desk itself will just move up with you until you stop it. Same if you press the down button, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, you also get three different preset options. So for us, we're using one to be the sit level and the height for that we have it is at 29.2. Then the two is a standing level for me, and the three is a standing level for my wife, Carla, who doesn't really use it, so I might use it for something else. Uh, so you'll see if I just press two, take a step back, it will start going to the desired height. So pretty cool, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Uh, and it's really all I was looking for in a standing desk uh, for now. Uh, hopefully I get to upgrade the top to something a little bit nicer, a little bit more finished. Uh, but for now in our apartment, it does the job. So one of the things to consider whenever you're getting a standing desk is what type of motor it has. Uh, some desks have a single motor and some desks have dual motors. Uh, I really wasn't sure which one to get whenever I was picking out a desk so I just went with the safe option and got the single motor and it's working more than perfectly for me. Uh, really what the motors help you do is uh, if you have more motors and you're able to adjust the desk more times but I only adjust the desk maybe a handful of times a day um, so I, I didn't find the double motors necessary. I think one motor is more than enough for the casual person that just uh, wants to uh, change their, their height every once in a while. Some additional factors to consider if you really do want to get a standing desk. Uh, consider getting an anti-fatigue mat. Uh, you, you might see a lot of those are those black foam mats. Uh, and really this is just to help with any foot pain. Uh, I already had a few mats that I had laying around in the kitchen that I used whenever I was cooking. So I just took one of those and used them for my desk. And I do find that it helps with uh, with making sure that you don't get any foot pain, foot pain whenever you're standing for long periods of time. So there's one thing that I did want to point out. You'll see there's a little gap between the actual tabletop and the sofa. And then in the back, there's a, an even smaller gap between the tabletop and the wall. So if there's ever anything that gets in between here that uh, may impact the, the desk going up or down, uh, the desk will automatically stop. Uh, so let's try for instance, uh, let's, let me get this hard drive. 
And then let's try to move it up. different options that you might find whenever you're doing your research.